really pretty much answered the last question I was going to ask, which is just what kind of advice would you have for somebody looking to create their own brand and bring it to market? Do you have anything that you would add from what you just said? I'll recap and say, I think you should yeah. come up with it, some kind of a niche product or adjust an existing product. Maybe you want to come out with 50 pound plates and 30 pound plates and 20 pound plates. And you think that's going to mm. sell really well or something like that, you know, and then you can do what I did. You go back to Amazon or pick out a couple companies, see how much maybe they're selling or get a guesstimate, figure out if there's enough of a business there and think, okay, how can I adjust my product to do better? Get a few made and start testing the market, sell a few, start on eBay. You don't need a, you don't need a website right away. Start on eBay, get it on Amazon and start to sell a few. And then, you know, reach out to a guy like Jake and send him a product for free and see if he'll <laughs> talk about it on garage gym experiment and uh you know i think i sent you my fractional plates gosh three four years ago now probably like you had those for a while so way before you were doing this full time so you know and then get in front of people get on a podcast and start that instagram and social media because it's free like you don't have to pay anything to start a tiktok or an instagram or a facebook you can just start putting up content every day and make it your side hustle for as long as you possibly can like you don't want to quit prematurely and then have all this stress built up of just like not only do you have work stress but now you have to you have the stress of like am i going to get paid because i have to sell so many products so but yeah you know once you come up with that niche and, and people start to like it you know then you can branch off and try other things and add some products to it to become more of a complete company i think dylan from admat mentioned like a lot of companies are one product and they're like not really companies they're like they sell a product you're not really a bigger company until you start to sell multiple items and you have that more of like that sustainability behind it but that takes a couple of years and know that it's going to be a grind and know that it's not like instagram like the models and bottles and the uh the jets and the lamborghinis and the big homes like it's not really like that i, I did a video the other day talking about how it's not really like that i was hand unloading dumbbell plates off the back of my truck in a snowstorm and i'm the ceo of the company so it's not like you know it's just it's vastly different than you see on tiktok and instagram um the reality of it but it's well worth it in the long run awesome 